Meet my new friend Karis. She's a British streamer who creates captivating content for her continuously expanding Filipino audience. Karis has not only embraced the Filipino culture, but has also made an effort to integrate Filipino language and mannerisms into her persona. Her exuberant and lively personality, combined with her fascinating background, made our conversation truly enjoyable. I'll leave links to Karis' social media down below. You should definitely check her out. I hope you guys enjoy the video. How are you? Series? Si Keris, Keris. Keris, Keris, okay. Yes, okay, okay lang po, ikaw ba? Okay lang, okay lang, buhay pa, andito pa rin. Pinanood ko yung mga TikTok mo at meron sa, sa Tagalog. Na, nagulat talaga ako sa'yo kasi hindi ko lang, makala ko British siya pero nagtatagalog siya. <laughs> <laughs> yes po, nagsasalita ko ng konti lang. <laughs> ng konti lang? Yeah. Bakit? Pa- paano ka natuto magtagalog? I think it all started when I was 14. May nakita akong music video sa Pilipina Idol Group MLO48. Naisip ko, wow, ang gangganda! Talented nilang lang. So I downloaded the streaming app Kumu to support them. At mag stream na ako ako 15 at nanatili uh, ako active sa app to this day. Ano anong anong application mo? Anong sabi mo Kumu? Kumu. A- ano yon? Hindi hindi ko alam yon. Mas ma- mas matanda ako at hindi ko alam yung mga bagong ah, application. Fili- Filipino live streaming app. Ah okay, Filipino live stream. Parang Twitch pero sa Pilipinas. Yes po. It's a great app. There's so many Filipinos on there and that's that's kind of how I learned Tagalog. You've seen me speak Tagalog, but have you considered learning it yourself? Allow me to introduce my Beginner's Tagalog course. With 10 in-depth video lessons, this course serves as your ultimate entry point to mastering the fundamentals of the Tagalog language. Enjoy lifelong access, not only to the video lessons, but also the corresponding PDF vocabulary sheets that will help you practice new words and internalize useful sentence structures. This course is my passion project, inspired by the desire to provide a resource I wish I had when I began my Tagalog journey. Ready to learn? Check out the link in the description for more details and seize this opportunity to make Tagalog a part of your story. Now back to the video. So yung interest mo sa simula para lang sa pop culture sa isang grupo grupong Pilipino. Yes po, mm-hmm. si MNL48 is my favorite. Actually, nag audition ako dito sa MNL48 previously this year and actually um natanggap natanggap talaga ako pero the same week natanggap ako ay sa college. Pero gusto kong mag-focus sa studies, so I, I chose college. It was such a difficult decision to make. Pero kailangan kong mag-ingat. Dahil uh, student pa rin, ako na walang trabaho. <laughs> Pero I'm currently under a Filipino management. So I hope they can help me out. I'm under um, digital reality show sa Pinas sa The House of Collab. A lot of the viewers sa The House of Collab, they keep saying, Let's get Karis on the House of Collab season 7. Kaya hindi lang management company, pero parang my TV show din. Ah, uh, both. They are both management company for influencers across the Philippines. Mm-hmm. I know they have international talents that live in Pinas, pero nayon I am the only one managed that is outside of the Philippines. Wow, okay. Congratulations. Malaking bagay 'yon. Anong sabi mo kailan ka nagsimula matutong magtagalog? I started when I was 14. Nayon 18 na ako. During my schooling, I've had to focus on languages taught in school. That's why hindi ako fluent. I wish I was more fluent in Tagalog. Nakapunta ka na sa Pilipinas? I wish I could in the future, pero I've never been before. Hindi pa, pero gusto mo hindi. talaga. Gusto ko talaga kasi marami akong kaibigan sa Pilipinas, mainly Manila at Cebu. Medyo mahirap matutong magtagalog. Mahirap ba sa'yo? Mmm, konti lang. Kasi because I only speak it online. It it can it can be difficult to actually keep up with it. That's why even after four years, I'm not fluent and I don't study in conventional ways. Literally just streaming on Kumu. But when learning online, you get taught like slang words. I remember the first word I learned was Sanool. Sanool. And oh, Charot. <laughs> I think that's one advantage of learning Tagalog through friends online. Lalo na pag bata 
o oh, mas bata yung yung kinakausapan mo, de ba? Kasi para sa akin mas matanda ako at natuto ako magtagalog noon eight years. Kaya pag nagbabago na yung tagalog, may bagong slang, de ba? Na pumapasok sa tagalog. Uh, minsan na hihirapan ako maintindihan yung sinasabi nila. Pero sa yo mas bata ka pa at mas bata yung kinakausapan mo, yung mga kausap mo sa stream mo. Kaya natututo mo yung yung slang, de ba? Nang mas mabilis kaysa sa akin. I think, I think it's just like such a great thing. So like, you know, learn languages online. Lucky ako kasi I've grown up with the internet. So I've been able to kind of immerse myself in so many cultures even from a young age. Kahit mm-hmm. nasa ano, saan ka pala? Sa England? Mm, yes po, England. So, Nagborn sa London, raised sa Birmingham, pero nayon nakatira ko sa York- York- Yorkshire. Halo-halo, halo-halo ng maraming lugar. <laughs> halo-halo. <laughs> tama, tama. Kahit nasa England ka, may contact ka rin sa Pilipinas, sa mga Pilipino, kasi may may stream ka. Gusto kong pag-usapan yung stream mo ng konte. Anong ginagawa mo sa Kumu? Ang main content is singing. I love to sing. I think ang favorite song to sing sa Kumu, Ikaw at Ako by Moira. Kumu is a global network for Pinoys, especially OFWs. There's a lot of filams. So we have global concerts and things like that. I'm always the one to represent Europe even though hindi hindi ako Pinay. Gumagawa ako ng video sa Omay TV, 'di ba? Halos lahat ng mm. video ko doon. Gusto kong magsimula sa English muna tapos mm. magtatagalog ako bigla para para may reaction. Pero mm. minsan sa simula la pag English lang yung ginagamit ko at nakikita nila na na foreigner ako ayaw nila akong kausapin parang natatakot sila sa akin parang ay ayoko naman kasi English lang foreigner siya mas gusto kong kausapin yung mga Pilipino ganun <laughs> mm, ta- tama tama it just puts a smile on my face kasi interested talaga talaga like, kasi you speak Tagalog ano na hindi ko alam <laughs> ganto lang ako ganto lang <laughs> My Inai, she sometimes watches clips of my streams. Impressed siya kasi she will see me singing or speaking in Tagalog. She's like, "You just learned this from your bedroom." <laughs> especially especially during lockdown. Great opportunity for language learners. Over lockdown, I mainly focused on Tagalog. Korean and a little bit of Mandarin. I'm a self-proclaimed language nerd. Taglish, <laughs> <laughs> interesting talaga. Kasi yes, you have these two languages that don't even have the same sentence structure. Pero Filipinos, they can make like comprehensible sentences. Oh nga, kasi English, Tagalog, layo talaga. Kaiba talaga yung grammar, kaiba yung mga salita, ka- kaiba yung pronunciation, yung pagbikas. Pero ginagamit nila yon. Sabay sa Taglish. Uh-huh. I previously studied in senior high. I did my own independent study on the use of English in the Philippines. And I focused on words that don't have a specific meaning sa English. I love the word kilig. Actually, ang previous username sa social media si Kilig Carries. Kasi ah. ang cute talaga. Oh. Ang cute talaga si <laughs> word kilig. There is no one word to describe kilig. You can describe it in a sentence, pero there is not just one word in English that you can describe the meaning of kilig. Paano mo i-describe yon sa English? Hindi ko alam. Like the feeling of butterfly flies in your stomach. That's the that's the closest thing I can think of. There are just so many interesting words sa uh, Tagalog. I, I saw a video of yours that also said the word naman and I was like, "Oh yes." Oh no man. <laughs> like it's difficult to describe to English speakers. Once mas fluent sa Tagalog, I would like to probably learn Bisaya maybe and then maybe either Bicol or Ilonggo. Oo nga, gusto ko rin matuto ng ibang dialect, kaso medyo mahirap. <laughs> <laughs> Even when I know like so many languages that are so different, I will accidentally mix them. Especially Tagalog and Spanish. I studied Spanish for eight years at uh, school. I would always 
mix of Spanish and Tagalog because there's similarities, but they are definitely two different languages. Because I'm more known din ako mag Spanish, at yung pinaka mahirap sa akin na medyo malapit yung pronunciation, kaya minsan nadilito ako. Because I'm more known din ako mag German, pero hindi naman nangyare na gusto ko mag Tagalog pag nag German ako. Because kaiba, different talaga yung silang talaga. Yeah, different talaga. Sa Spanish sa Tagalog kaiba pero may similarities pa rin. Interesado ka rin sa uh, Filipino English, sabi mo. So, yun yung gusto mong i-study or gusto mong i-research tungkol sa Filipino English? In senior high, when we were asked to do a project, we can choose our own topic, pero related to language. I chose language and identity about how Philippine English is used by younger Filipinos and how they express their identity. So I did baraming interviews. I even did overt research sa Kumu. Mm. I'm so proud of myself for doing that. Parang maraming English sa Pilipinas, diba? Pero kaiba talaga yung accent. At okay lang kasi normal na naman yun na iba yung accent sa Pilipinas kaysa sa Canada. Kasi iba din yung accent mo sa English sa England kaysa sa akin sa, sa Canada. Pero yung pinaka-interesante para sa akin, yung mga salita na ginagamit nila sa English na hindi ginagamit namin dito sa Canada. Like yung mm. mga sarili nilang salita sa English. Um, mm. Kunyari, uh, CR o comfort room. Mm. CR. English naman yun, hindi yun Tagalog. Pero, Tama! Pero hindi ko, yung mga English speakers sa Canada, hindi nila naiintindihan yun. Kasi hindi naman namin ginagamit yung salita na yun. Like for example, my friend who, my British friend who's lived in the Philippines, when he went back to UK, he was at the restaurant and he asked where the CR is. And they were like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Because of the fact I've spent most of my teenage years speaking to Filipinos, I can't actually say the word province with a British accent. Even words like Jollibee, Filipino foods, or places sa Pinas. Always say them with a Tagalog accent because that's what I'm used to now. Kahit yung yung English mo sa lahat sa tingin ko mas mas Filipino kaysa sa sa English. Speaking Tagalog for so long definitely affects the way you talk even in English. Pag meron na English na salita na gusto kong gamitin, Filipino accent yung gagamitin ko, de ba? Mas gusto kong sabihin, ay nakatira ako sa Calgary. Lumipat na ako sa Vancouver. Andoon siya sa Toronto. Parang yung Filipino accent sa mga mga Canadian cities. Kahit yung sarili kong pangalan. Sa English, hey, my name is Jared. Sa Tagalog, ako si Jared. Jared! For example, like, like hi, my name is Karis. Hello po, ako po si Keris. Keris. Mm-hmm. Iba Keris. na. May plans ka ba pumunta sa Pilipinas? No set plans yet. Pero I hope to visit maybe next summer. Um, next month, I will be celebrating my fourth anniversary sa Kumu. I never felt like I could succeed on Kumu kasi partner ako. And I felt like I would be very lonely. Pero now knowing what Filipinos are like, Hospital talaga, accepting talaga, and yes, ang kumo I was welcomed with open arms. Gusto kitang tanungin kung anong paborito mong pagkain na Filipino. I actually really like balut. Like in Birmingham, in my hometown, there is a Pinoy store, and they sell balut, and I was like. Oh my gosh, I have to try it. At masarap talaga. In in UK, you can't really find Filipino food. Pero I really want to try making balabok and maybe adobo. And I really want to try halo halo. Pero yung balot kaiba talaga yon. Kahit sa mga Pilipino, meron na nasa isip nila na medyo kadiri yung balot. Natikman ko yon isang beses lang sa Cambodia naman hindi sa Pilipinas. Masarap. Okay lang yung yung lasa. Kaso lang ayaw ko naman isipan yung kinakain ko. Medyo mahirap yon. Pag nakakita mo yung pato sa loob ng itlog, medyo <laughs> mahirap sa utak. <laughs> Marami bang Pilipino sa England or hindi naman? Oh, especially in the larger cities like London, Birmingham, even dito sa Yorkshire, there are some Filipinos, mainly international students. Lalo na kung gusto nilang 
magsanay mag-English or matutong mag-English. Sa tiyan ko, nasisip ng maraming bansa, ay, dapat pumunta ako sa England. Kasi andoon sila mm-hmm. naging English, di ba? Original country ng English. <laughs> yes, pero when I, when I meet Filipinos here, they're like, I don't understand the English. Even if I speak in my natural accent on Kumu, a lot of people are like, Uy, nose bleed! I was born in the South and raised in the Midlands. Okay, so yung accent mo sa British English, kaiba ba yun sa mga kaklase mo? Kind of like if I speak in my like natural accent, it's very neutral. I don't really have much of a regional accent because of the fact that I've lived in so many places. And because I'm speaking to so many foreigners, I've kind of trained my voice to be very clear because I want I want people to understand me. Kahit hindi naman kita kakilala, we have something in common na may interest yeah. tayo sa Pilipinas, di ba? Pusong Pinoy, ikaw. Pusong Pinoy. Mm. Def, 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 definitely, definitely. <laughs> 